What's up, party people? Mr. Challenger X coming at you here with some gameplay videos on Dofus Touch. This little Let's Play mini series, we are going to be taking a look at the Al Howen event, which is our October slash Halloween community event. Uh, some of the stuff here is only accessible during this month of October and October only. I believe once it's November 5th, 2024. Uh, this disappears which kind of sucks because uh, one big thing about this event is you drop these uh, resources which if we look at these red Golubio uh, you need them for a, a lot of meta gear a lot of endgame gear which speaking of endgame gear big shout out to JTL and Drowned from the English community I was hoping to get this bow done for the dungeon guide video for the Golden, Golden Palace. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it there, but hopefully we could showcase some, some bow gameplay here because we are gonna be walking through the little quest storyline that's tied to this, just because I'm curious about it and I'd be, I think it'd be fun to check it out. So Horror Isle is the big thing here. If we open up the map, we are gonna go to this location here. So this island, it is only open to during the month of October. It's a small, tiny little island. Uh, not a whole lot involved in terms of like doing uh, grindy stuff over there. It's it's this whole thing is bite-sized enough where it's 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 fun. It's fun. Uh, so the way you get here is you want to take the sap, uh, the Sephokia shoreline sap. And you just, you just kind of have to run your way all the way over here to uh, 1414. And it's marked on the map, Passage to Horror Isle. Uh, I think that is the closest app. Uh, otherwise, you might want to teleport to the Rogue Temple, maybe, but this is what I've been doing. Just head to the Suffolkian, Suffolkian Gulf Shoreline. So we are going to go ahead and start doing some questing here, folks. Hopefully, we'll get this done in two episodes. Trying to keep this at an hour each. Like I said, this whole thing is pretty manageable and bite sized and all that. But we're gonna talk to Marco Konut. You again. You didn't think I'd see you again. What do you want? You're not ready to go back there. Yeah, so if you, this is the first time you're gonna try to go there, there is a little prerequisite event where he tells you to collect some bones uh, over at the. Uh, Cemetery, so if you haven't done, you haven't been there at all, he's gonna send you over here to drop some bones some uh, key item bones and then Pretty straightforward pretty simple uh, Anything else If you still have a little time I have a favor to ask you uh, Ask what the favor is a while ago I let a couple of friends pass who absolutely wanted to spend their honeymoon on the island despite its official closure because that's where they met, unfortunately, I haven't seen them come back. I'm starting to get worried. Uh, I agreed to help. So this is one, I think there's like four or five little storylines here connected. Uh, I'd say do them, just because if we look at the achievements list here, um, it's so easy to 100% this. And you know, it's extra XP, extra resources. We talked about the red uh, golubules. These things, uh, they sell like hotcakes. Obviously, they've gone down in price a little bit here on Grandapan. But, you know, a lot of end gear needs these things, especially after the island closes. You know, you won't be able to get any more of these. So, even if you don't want to sell them, you want to hoard them for a little bit, let the price go up, that's a good way to make money. There you go. Tip of the day. And invest in the red color <laughs> All right, so where does this guy send us? So, if you look at the quest here, uh, do, 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 do. question the priest about the wedding. So it's gonna send it to the church over to there is and it's marked on the map pretty easy, pretty simple, straightforward. So we're gonna teleport over to the village. And we're just gonna run over there. So yeah, I'd figure I'd make a I, I like doing these kind of small self-contained let's play videos just because it's there's like a beginning and a definite end to them. 
And I figured like, oh, the Halloween's event going on, that'd be a perfect way to showcase the quest and like the little monsters and the, and the little island area. You know, two, three episodes, bada bing, bada boom, done. As opposed to like this thing that just goes on forever. And you know, taking a page off of my uh, PC Let's Play kind of snippet there where I did everything and then and at the, that's like the beginning area and the, the starter quest. Uh, frankly, that stuff's kind of boring to keep showing off. And just like, okay, you know what? Let me get to the point where I can do the Emerald quest and let me show off this little little arc, right? So I figured I'd do that here and I might be able to do that to do the same thing here with some other quests. But you know, you guys know me, I'm a big lore guy, so I'm wondering if there's anything of importance here. Talk to the priest. May the gods of Magna bless you, my son. What kind of miracle guide? What what kind of miracle guided you to this modest but divine place? Uh, ask about the couples. Any couples? Well, yes. Bless the gods. I've been lucky enough to perform this marvelous union three times in three weeks. Ask if he remembers the names of the couples. No, but my registry over there forgets nothing. It's on the bench. You can look at it or even add your name if you found your soulmate and you want to make your love official with the sacred bond of marriage. All right, let's go take a look at the registry. Marriage register. All right. Just a bunch of texts. Bunch of texts. All right. I don't know who we're looking for. Somebody here in October. All right. I figure these names are going to be a part of October. We are in October. Take a look at the book. Let's go talk to this old man again. Um, ask about one of the couples. How can I help you, my child? Ask where to find Erty Trapchet. Oh, this is the, uh, the plant dude. He's a botanist who lives in Astro. You'll probably find him studying plants. All right. I'm gonna have to go talk to him. Find one of the couples. Ask where to find Connie Vini. Connie Vini is a sales clerk at the Bonsai grocery store. She is there day and night. Shouldn't have any trouble finding her there. We're gonna talk over here. And we have one more couple to talk about. Find Paxton. A charming boy, but a little strange. I seem to remember that he and his spouse were staying at the inn for a while. The tavern keeps the inn's account. You will most likely need to ask for information there if you want to meet them. Okay, it doesn't mark it in the map. It does not. Okay, so I marked this one here. Okay, I marked the one there. So we could head to Astrub. Head to Bonta, right? Yep, and then we'll probably head to the in here but we're gonna make our way over to Astro. I can't teleport out of here you know what let me turn on the music here I was like why is it so quiet it's because I turn off the music there we go I turned off the music when I was recording the uh, dungeon video Yeah, look at the base stuff. Looking nice and full. Over to the Astro. Right? Yep. And we got our arrows there. Just gotta run. And there he is. This little, uh, little, little house of horrors, dude. Wow, a gloomy, a catalantha, a trip, tri, pit, tri, plic, well, I cannot say this word. Triplicata. Hmm, I haven't seen such a specimen since my stay on Moon Island. This public garden is full of surprises. Asked about the wedding. My wedding. What can I say? It was wonderful. 
We say I do, surrounded by our friends and many, many bouquets of roses. Asked if they went on a honeymoon. At last, no. I've been very busy with my experiments lately, and we had to delay our trip. But we are planning to go to the moon, to Moon Island, so I can bring back new samples of local flora to add to my collection. All right, looks like that's not the couple we're looking for, and we are gonna go over to Bonta, which is I think it's down there, right? Yep. Oh, look at this person over here. Uh, so, if you guys don't know, because uh, if you guys don't follow the uh, social media stuff, if you go to the website where you input like a uh, codes, gift codes. If you input, input, uh, can I type in here? If you input T three R R O R terror with a three, uh, you get a. Did I spell that right? Don't at me if I didn't. <laughs> but if you spell a terror with a three, pretty much. Uh, you get a few gifts. You get um, uh, some fireworks. You get uh, Al Hawan's treat. I don't know what this does. This treat was a hidden. This treat was hidden in Tree Corridor's surprise box. It's, it's taste a mixture of carrot, pumpkin, orange, lava juice. It's a delight to children and parents, even dentists. Should we use it? What does it do? I'm gonna use it. Uh, oh, it's an XP. All right. Hey, if you're under level 200, make sure you grab that. It's free. Remember, terror with a three instead of. And the last thing uh, you do get is the um, this little pumpkin ceremonial item. If you equip it, it changes your colors. Uh, let's see if we get a. Try to get here on the map so you guys can see. Uh, it changes your colors to black and uh, orange, you know, Halloween colors, which is, you know, could look cool on your character. Look at that. Look at that. Just a fun little trick-or-treat little thing. Nothing crazy. But, uh, yeah, make sure you grab that. It's free. And if it's past October, uh, you know, you got up to November 5th, so got a little bit of time. That's over the recording of this video. Uh, where are we going? We're going to a market for you. No, we're going one more. Uh, give me one second, folks. Having technical difficulties here. I might. So I've been using this Aramir app, which is not the most stable thing. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good there. Let's keep going. Right in here. Let's talk to this lady. Hello, my grocery store is open 24 hours a day. If you're looking for something to eat, please have a look at her stock. As about the wedding. So you notice this magnificent, magnificent ring on my finger, eh? Hee <laughs> hee. Walton and I were married two weeks ago, and we've just returned from Automai, where we'd rented a small house on the coral beach. Oh. How'd I love to go back, Sai? Thanks for the information. So, so far, these couples are not the couples we're looking for. So we got one more place to check out. And we're gonna head over to the village. There's so many people over there. All right, uh, up and then over to the right. Uh, one thing I do wanna point out is during my Gordon Palace, my audio was a little bit off. It turned out that the uh, the recording source was from my webcam and not from my actual mic. So that's why it sounds a little bit muffled, which, you know, I was a little disappointed to hear. So, you know, I try to I try to make this the best quality it can be. But that's what happened. That's why it sounds a little bit muffly, just because my webcam. It's not the best, and that's why I have a dedicated mic. But hopefully this sounds way better. I talked to Linda Malibu. Uh, asking about Pankston and Lenata. 
The newlyweds, yes, I remember. They stayed a few nights at the inn. They were supposed to come back for a few days after the honeymoon, but I haven't seen them since. Perhaps they decided to go straight home or extended their stay after all. If it were to if it were to me if it were me, I'd do anything possible to extend holidays. If only had if I had any. Alright. So it looks like we are gonna find them out to the goo. Alright, so we're gonna head over to a recall over to the village. There's a sap over here. Yeah, so you know it's a good idea to bookmark or to save the Suffolk the Suffolkian Gulf shoreline. You know, it saves yourself a little bit of time, nothing too crazy. Look at that, we got another crash. This is so annoying. I think I might have to look for another another app here because this is this is not good. Which is, you know, which is part of the reason why it's kind of annoying to make content for this game. <laughs> and why nobody really makes content. It's, uh, it's a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt. And I definitely, I mean, ideally I would like to get like a capture card, right? And but those, uh, they're, they're not cheap. All right, so we're gonna go to Horb Isle. So once here, you wanna go, your, go, go up here, up the stairs or ladders. So this is a little island here. It's like five maps, nothing crazy. Super cool if you are low level. There are these little creatures here, like level 50, you can fight. If you head over here to the right, there is this glowing thing. Uh, welcome holiday goers, goers. I thought I was gonna say ghoulers. Our entire team is happy to welcome you to your new home. We hope that you will enjoy your holiday in this tiny corner of paradise. Please feel free to contact our staff if you have any questions about your stay. That's what we're here for. Excellent holidays with the Charlie's agents. To get the most out of your stay, don't forget to use the gift code. And there it is, folks. T-3-R-R-O-R. -R -R, to get those uh, little treats. So we are going to head over to the Ghoul Island. I mean, the Golden Palace, I'm sorry. All right, and this is the dungeon over here. You know what, let's put on my new set here. Uh, yeah, so this part of the quest does require you to do the dungeon, which, you know, of course, your man, your boy, has done a guide if you don't know how to do it. Make sure you check that out. Uh, are we doing a dungeon or this other thing here? Sneak into the Golden Palace. Go back into the Golden Palace. We'll do this. Go back into this room. Yeah, so once you beat the uh, the dungeon boss here, which is, this is super cool. Like I said, this island is super chill, super enjoyable. Like it didn't make me, I mean the dungeon's only one room, but it's super cool that it just gets me in here. Uh, why did you leave immediately? Hmm. Okay, okay. So I have a little, come on. Come on, click on the guy. Is it gonna make me, hmm. Do the dungeon again. Find the Golden Map Palace. Sneak in. Okay, so you want to sneak in here. And then you want to 
defeat these enemies here. Mm, can we solo this? We could try solo it. Let's see what happens. Alright, you know what? We get a little bit of fight action here. Alright, hopefully we can take these guys. Not too tough. I get a shot of my nice bolt. Hit him with the 1k. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, you know what? I don't want to contract him. Yeah, so I, I changed my strap set. I still have my agility strain set, which still kind of comes in handy. But, uh... Um, it's just not as effective as it was at one point. Oh, let me see who moves next. Who moves next over there? Uh, just because agility doesn't lock anymore. I mean, it doesn't dodge anymore, and then double has like half half the lock. So, so my double is not like locking anything anymore. So it's like oh, I might as well just go full of one element. And I've been enjoying st the strength. Cool, the strength uh, branch with the ceram. It is a powerhouse. And something I, I do want to explore a little bit is go into like the MP uh, drain ceram. Because you know, you got paralyzing trap and then you got uh, what is the spell called? Perfidy. Which steals MP, so I really want to go with MP removal on this set. And just do like a pseudo, like long range set where I'm just like playing at a distance. And of course, uh, you know, you can have other people join the fight here. If you have trouble doing this, I don't know if I can do it by myself, but if you do need help, I think up to four, maybe four people, three people, I don't know. Ooh, look at that damage. My hybrid surround was not doing, it was cool and it was a little bit versatile, but it was not doing this kind of damage. These guys get a little dangerous here. Let's see. Who are you? Okay, which one's almost dead? Okay, you're almost dead. Body bag, that's one down. Yeah, so again, shout out to Drown for coming through with this bowl. Here, because do I want to hit him? I can visibility next turn. Okay, you know what? I could hit this guy here. I could double over here. Oh, I got another crash. Hey, one second, folks. You know, after this video, I'm gonna see if I can find another mirroring application. Okay, we should be back online and we are, ooh, ooh, what's going on? Oh my, my, oh, my health is gone. We got we got wrecked. <laughs> D 
These, yeah, these guys are, are these, man, these guys are mad. <laughs> these guys are really ganged up on me. Uh, which guy, which guy's almost dead? You over there. Alright, so, let's go here. Go here. Um, you know what? We don't have that much agility in this set, but we'll set you here. Oh, yeah. Stay away from this. Gotta be a little careful now. And this is the reason why I have I'm rocking a bow. Man, you know, these guys do hit from long range, so I'm gonna take out a kill right there. Oh alright. This other guy might be able to hit me though. Might be it, folks. All right, so I don't have too much EP. So I'm gonna do this. See, the double doesn't even lock on me anymore. This guy hits me, I'm dead. This guy hits me, I'm dead. You know what? I think I could do this. I think we'll try it one more time. The knockback from the repelling trap's gonna kill me. Not like this. Not like this, boys. Unless I could kill these two guys. Close. So close. So many 4 HP. Oh, come on. Come on. You know what? We'll run it back. We'll run it back. We will run it back. Hey, you know what? Let's, let's do it. You know what? Do we have any candy we could use? What does this thing do? Use. What does this do? Ch 
chance. I don't have any chance. Oh, 50 strength. That's pretty good. For the 100 bit. Alright, let's go. Off with style, boys. Let's see how much health do you have? Oh, look at that body bag. That crit. Yeah, we got two red um, Gulabules. Hope you guys enjoy that fight right there. Do we update our quest? Uh, slip through the cleared passage. And here's the passage over here. What's our time looking like? 39 minutes. And here's the couple we were looking for. Here is the couple. So happy together. That's a long moan. That seems to be a sight satisfaction. Pretend to understand. Oh yeah, let's, let's, let's get out of here. And that is that main quest line, folks. Let's see if we go to the heart. Thank you, general quest information. Uh, quest finish. Look at we got some nice resources. Super cool. And we got the shield. So this is another incentive. Oh, you know what? Let's rock the shield. Ooh, that looks nice. Kind of matches our style. Super cool. All right, so that's the kind of like the uh, one of the quest lines. Another thing you could do here is if you go over to the right or to the left, excuse me. If you talk to these guys here, they'll give you a quest where if you drop, um, they'll, they'll, they'll ask you to drop skulls as skulls drop from these mobs. Drop 14. After 14, you talk to them, uh, hand over the skulls, and you get resources, XP. And another quest finish. Let's see here. So right now we're at 38%. Uh, these guys have an achievement too. We could knock that out. Pretty, pretty easily. Yep. Okay. So we head over here. Sit over here. No, go up. We're gonna go over here. So over here, this is very hard to miss. But you see how this little bottle over here is flashing. So you could click on that, and you can start a new quest. So a message in the bottle. Try to open that up. Despair has been with me for the past several nights. And now, several drinks later, this empty bottle is my last hope. May it find a soul that values altruism more than drink. A soul willing to find my secret place. My camp is located on the edge of the island on an isolated beach. One that cannot be reached by swimming. There is a cove in the cave filled area of the island. From there, if you like, 
you can reach the sea to join me. And if this bottle gets lost among the waves, I beg my faithful jailer, the sea, to never obliterate these words. I pray that the ink that flowed to write these lines never fades. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to find the Cossack Rock Cove, which is just one map up here. Which is this guy here. Uh, yeah, so this is another dungeon. This is a... Oh man, so we kind of went backwards. We started we started with the level 200 dungeon. And we're doing the level 61 now here. There, there is three dungeons that, that is tied to the event. The other one's near the Skyrelief Plain. And we'll probably check that out during the next episode. Alright, so we're going to go in here. Ask about the Caustic Rock Cove. Click, click, click. If you're looking for the cove, click, click, click. You will need to beat the monsters that shelter here. There. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go in there. Use a bunch of keys. Boss character here. Attack. So we are going to try to do the achievements and the challenges just to knock it out in one go. Should we do... Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go with the pretty mode. Uh, let's see here. Ch I only need one challenge. I could do the nomad. Kill things with traps. Um, okay. we could do here what we do contract over no we'll save it it's a versatile and walk one we can only set one trap at a time though And we'll pass. Okay, we'll just throw you into the trap. Not enough to kill. And we'll do a perfidy here. Did I move? I did not move. There we go. Full achievement, boys. Full achievement. Quest updated. Let's see what these are looking like. Look at all that green. Look at all that green. 65%. You know what, we might be able to finish this today. No, I don't think so, because there's... Right, we'll see. So after here, uh, you could continue to search. So look for clues in the cove. We take the little boat right here. And here is our... Will, Will, Will. Oh, it's not you. I'm not dreaming. You really are real. And you are not trying to devour me. Say that I found. Say that you found a message in the bottle. I see. I thought I was doomed and was going to end my days alone, and sorry on this island. So condemned to go mad. If I had to, if I had known back then that this bottle is Bjork beer. Uh, I lost. Uh, if I had known back then that this bottle of a Bjork beer would have been would be my salvation. I have gone home to my parents. They might know what you're dealing with. I'm Nuk Cholin. Nuk Cholin. Nuk Cholin. 
the game. Nook Cholin. I'm like so close to getting, the, getting that reference. Chuck Norris? I don't think it's Chuck Norris. I don't know. I'm a scientist. I came here with my colleagues. Will Sung. Will S Wilson. Wait, is this a... Is this a... Oh! This is a reference to a Castaway with... Ah, what's his name? He Wilson! He, he's right there. You see the little ball with the head? Castaway with... Um... You know what? I have to look this up. Will Ferrell? Nah, nah, Will Ferrell. Castaway movie. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks and his character name is actually Chuck Nolan. But here is they they switch the N and the C. Okay. I was like, this sounds so familiar. It's like it's like it's right there. So there you go. Fun fact. Fun fact right there. In order to study the creatures that now live on the island, finding this beach was a brilliant stroke of luck because it allowed us to go on expeditions to study those things. But one day, we'll. Will went out looking for subjects to study and never came back. This corner of paradise turned into a prison. We have sometimes spent several we have sometimes spent several days outside the camp, of course. But we always come back. I've been here alone for weeks, stuck on this cursed strip of beach without any way of returning to a machina. If I only knew what happened to Will, I'll offer to help. Indeed your help your help would be welcome. Will had an annoying tendency to always write down whatever he was doing on his journal. He was able to tear his eyes away from it. He was unable to tear his eyes away from it for more than a few minutes. If you manage to find his notes, perhaps we'll learn more about what happened to my colleague. Go on and investigate the disappearance of Wilson. All right, so yeah, we'll go ahead and finish this quest off and then we'll we'll continue the other half next time here, folks. If you guys enjoying this, remember, hit the like, leave a comment if you're enjoying this. You know, it looks like uh, our, my, the, the little mirror thing finally stabilized. So what do we have to do here? We have to find pages of journals. And one, two, three, four, and these are scattered on the island. So if you click and hold the screen, Things should highlight. So there's nothing here. We'll take the boat back. Uh, do we have anything here? I don't think so. I'll leave the cove. Do I have anything here? Nope. Did we get all the cheats? Yeah, I think we did get the achievements, right? For those guys? Uh, yes, we did. See anything glowing? I do not see anything glowing. Okay, so we got a couple of things glowing here. We saw the billboard. Check the chest. All right, we got one here. Quest update. We found the... Slobber Soldier page. All right, go ahead over to the right. Uh, anything glowing? No, oh, nothing's glowing here. But if you see here on the top of the rock, super hard to see, folks. See that seagull up there? Click on him. Click on him. Uh, grab the piece of paper, and that should give us our second page right there. We got two more pages to go. Yep, two more pages. Go ahead and go up. Uh, this palm frond is glowing over here. Another page. Sweet. And we got pages glowing over here. 
right in the middle. Find the hastily scribbled journal page. Let's move on one more page. Nothing on this mount is so cool. I kind of want to grab it, it just looks so cool. How much is it? 15 bucks, not too bad. Look at that, it looks so cool. Everything going here? We do not have anything going. Oh, we can use these. Uh, does that update anything? No, we just gotta find it. You know what? This is the this is the lore run. We'll go ahead and read it. The old legends are full of alternative beliefs and information that has little to do with reality. Ghouls are depicted as cold-hearted, blood, cold-blooded, adjacent beings, devoid of humanity. That said, the first bit is probably true, but not the rest. However. You must detach yourself from the myth and the fallacious accounts that tarnish our beautiful beliefs and force your mind. A sizable slobber stain has made a large portion of the text illegible. Without having a natural predisposition for it, in that I invite you to open your minds to the natural perfection that has made ghouls into being superior to our simple fleeting flesh. nibble page. Contrary to what those old wives tales claim, ghouls are just capable of feeling sympathy and affection for a species other than their own, as mortal beings are. They generally do not have the capacity to express this other than being other than with their intelligent babbling, signs of their undeniable genius. But one must sometimes dare hold out a hand to one of them and bite back to the desire and desire to yell. All right, they're like zombies. I seem to have a long conversation with a ghoul trapped in the ruins. I even thought I, I, I even thought I think I started to forge the bonds of friendship with her. I was forced to flee as fast as my legs could carry me when she decided to remove her own legs to come after me, growling and crawling. I've decided to head out on an expedition alone tomorrow. While I greatly appreciate Nook's presence, I'm starting to enjoy the ghoul's company. The sound of their gurgling has become agreeable. And has the abundant slobber that they can spill on the and, and has the abundant slobber that they can spill on the ground. And has the okay. Alright. A damaged funeral cage. Today, we have decided to inspect the area around the Golden Palace, on the island's high ground. A silent, monastic, almost soothing atmosphere reigns over this island. The sound of the waves crashing against the cliffs almost takes, almost makes me forget that a group of ghouls have been following us for several hours. In addition to their babbling and this deconstructed sentences, they have an almost endearing side like faithful traveling companions, but of course, we refrain from telling them that. Early this afternoon, we were spending some time by the lake, when then a somewhat clumsy ghoul got stuck in the mud while treating us with a cruel fate, uh, threatening us with a cruel fate. We returned the courtesy and board, headed for the other part of the island. Back at the camp this evening, we feasted on a tint suit found on the island. A meal fit for a king, we sang and played guitar long in, long into the night to make ourselves forget that the ruckus must have been annoying to the ghouls and skeleton nearby. Man, this is cool. This is a nice little storyline. I am enjoying this. All right, so we're missing one more page, right? All 
Um, is it here? No, I don't think it's here. We check this. Hasty scroll turn off page. This page is so small. Mate, have did we missed it? Did we miss it? Uh, I don't see anything here. No pages. Alright, let's just loop around. Oh, there it is. It was on the first map. Come on, grab it. All right, let's go ahead and read that one. Oh, all right, let me get some water. A driving rain fell throughout the night. In the morning, we ate breakfast shivering in the most macabre of silence. Only the prospect of returning to the island filled me with joy, making me forget our miserable condition. The day passed without a hitch until it was time to return to the camp. The high tide has carried off the boat and was forced to wait for it. The high tide has carried off the boat and I was forced to wait for it to return to this cove, made cold and damp by the rain. I heard the thud well before I understood what caused it. A ghoul that initially seemed to have lucid mind, a lucid mind has fallen from the heights of the island following a rock slide on the cliffs brought about the rain. Delighted to finally find myself face to face with one of these creatures, I attempted to strike up an acquaintance. Rapidly, I sensed that the meeting was bothersome when the ghoul and its peers sliding into, peers sliding in the turn down and turn down the cliff, turn and ground in my direction. I am now in a quite unfortunate position. Fleeing by sea would be suicide. Trying to strike up the friendship with this new group seems to have been the best solution. But if I do not succeed, I prefer not to think about that. I was Will. I am Will. I shall remain Will. Man, this is so ominous. Alright, so we found the pages. And let's see where we're going to. Alright, so the good thing, you know, we could just pop back in here. Go in there, talk to this guy, show the journal. By all the shoe shoes, something horrible did happen to him. I warned him about the ghoul's inability to be our friends. I did. You shouldn't believe everything you read in the books. Learn more about the book of the ghouls. Will talked about this book all the time. It was a real source of knowledge for him. If you wanted my opinion, I see Count Du. I see Count Dorlet more as a ghoul worshipping fanatic. You shouldn't forget that these creatures were created by Shoo Shoes. And one last thing, if you don't mind, I know that the task may seem ambitious, but I would like to offer Will a final resting place and a tomb worthy of a renowned scientist such as himself. If you could um, bring uh, whatever is left of him. It would be like so mad. Uh, all right, he he got torn to he got torn to shreds. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and back to the main island here, and we're gonna look for the remaining. I think it's cold. How many pieces are we looking for? Ooh, they shred up to pieces. <laughs> five pieces. All right, five pieces, and they should be scattered around here. What's that one right there? Let's go to another map. Oh, I see one right here. It's kind of hidden. We got the lower, lower right hand corner. Got the human skull. Poor guy. So, what'd you get for being friendly? Um, see, glowing, glowing pieces here. I do not see anything here. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I see. Okay, oh, there's some blood over here. Okay. 
Okay, that's it. What did that, what did that say? Strange, strangely twisted arm. We got another piece over here. Cracked leg. Two more pieces. Ooh, look at him just laying right there. Deformed leg. Ooh. This feels like uh like Resident Evil when you're reading like those journals. our final piece over here to the left nibbled arm Hold out the remains. Oh, that's strange. I didn't think Will had two right hands. Anyways, I owe, <laughs> I owe you a debt of gratitude. I will put these bones to rest and leave this island for good. <laughs> and there, again, folks, we got a bunch of... Um, uh, we got XP. We got some commas. Some resources. And, you know, we're making our way through 100%ing. Uh, all the achievements here. I think we got two more. What's that other dungeon over there? Stew. Okay. So yeah, we'll do this dungeon uh, next episode. So there's two dungeons. We gotta do Al Howen, which is like this farmer dude. Level 90, not too crazy. Is there two more dungeons? Yeah. No, just one. Alright, this is, yeah, a little terrorist. Okay, just one more dungeon. And I think we have two more quest lines to do. So we'll cover that in the next episode, part two. Yeah, this is a two part series, pretty much. Hope you guys enjoyed this little, little, little small Let's Play Dofus Touch arc but yeah this was fun it was fun kind of showing off my new build on my saran i'll probably make a video focusing the, the set here and kind of like my thought processes uh, but yeah super fun going uh, just all strength you, you guys saw the power of just playing from range super cool but until next time this has been challenge ux take care of yourself and peace do i have any cool emojis i do not I guess I can do this one. There we go. There you go. Alright, catch you guys in the next one.